circuit this is the first of two visits to brand hatch so the final will also be played using the gp uh, setup so pretty similar to the actual btcc season that the clear cups follow as well last week this is where obviously the clear uh, the btcc started uh ollie pidgeley first two rounds of it managed an impressive seventh and eighth position in race one and two so well done to ollie for those terrific results for last week so on to it now, so how they're standing at the moment, we've got RS Jim uh, leading the way at the moment with 43 points. Uh, in second place and joint third is Cam123 Diz and FRT Hotman. They both have 31. FRT Nelkman just behind on 21 points. And then we've got FRT Glazing in fifth with 19. Lee W07 on 18 points, so just behind FRT Glazing there. Seventh, which was a filler from week one, uh, was reached the star. He's got 15 points. Don't know if we'll see him in any more rounds, though. Uh, new to last week, he missed the first round. So, FRT Sven Joro, he's got 15 points also. So, should see some pretty nice things from him this week. Just checking, have we got him in the race at the moment? Doesn't look like he's in the race either at the moment. We're also missing FRT Holtman tonight. So we've got a couple of no-shows at the moment. That's really, really is going to make their challenge for the lead difficult this season if, if they don't show up. Uh, now we've got Omega Double Done. He's been having a bit of a shocker, at the, actually. I mean, he's normally quite good in the Cleo Cups, but he seems to be really struggling with the moon. But I know uh, he's I've been speaking to him. He's got a new wheel uh, and new pedals now. He's, he's upgraded to the T300 and the T3PA Pros. So hopefully uh, we'll see some, some good driving from him last night. Scooby G, unfortunately, had a disconnect last week. So he's down in 10th at the moment with 12 points. Hopefully we'll see uh, some decent racing in from tonight. Just below him there, also with 12 points, We've got JD Curley and EDU Pro Driver 2 and FRT Gonzi 85. So we've got four drivers there all on the 12 point mark. So hopefully see some great battles from them. Uh, we've got Oldie 80 on 11, FRT Jella Ridges on 7, Blue Gobi on 6 and Green Army 2000 on 9 on 6 as well. So some really, to be honest, at the top of the table, as you are sort of running away with it, but down from sort of 7th to... 13th only separated by a few points so you know brands hatch in indy indy we should see some really close close rating tonight uh, let me just retire so we can monitor so we've already got some laps coming in as well so we've got amiga double done there taking the pole position so we'll get the leader up on the screen now so 51 4 uh they've already completed three laps so you're going to see really short laps it's to be honest, if you fall back on this, it's a hard track to overtake on. There's not a lot of clean overtaking positions that you can make on this track. So it is really, the goal is get up in front and stay there, to be honest. Oh, it's just, just have a little bit of, of a mare there. And through McLaren and Clearways. It's a clock curve and then onto the home straight. The W07, nice t time there as well. Uh, oldie 80 missing out from the runnings at the moment. So we'll stay on board with Mega Scooby's just moved up to second there with a 51.9. FRT glazing there with 52. So JD Curley down in seventh. A little bit off the pace. RS James have just moved up into third. So, I mean, it is all eyes on Jim at the moment. He is leading the way, but Cam Cam does feel that he can challenge for the top spot. He does feel that he can get pole tonight and take the win as well. So, he, you know, his main sights are RS Jim, but, you know, there's a few others that could, could upset the balance tonight as well. This this is a really small track. It's You know, it's great for these cars, but it's one of them that it does mean you've got to be on top of your game because there's no room for error on this track at all tonight so Amiga still in the top there as well so only him and Scooby in the 51s at the moment Jim's just moved up to second there so we've got three in the 51s now see if Cam is going to improve at all on his times he's just got his he's just got his best lap anyway on a 
So we'll see if Cam will prove on his time. Little clear bouncing over the curbs there. So will he improve from six? Moves into second. So we've still got Amiga leading the way at the moment with a 51-4. Absolutely nothing between Scooby and RS Jim at the moment. Uh, Cam. In fact, nothing, sorry, between Cam and Jim. Cam wants that pole tonight. Not only do you obviously get one extra point, uh, but... You know, you're out in the front as well. The first corner, obviously, Paddock Hill. That that can be a, a corner that can cause incidents. So Rob, just following Jim. Will he improve on his time? He does. It goes to a 51.4. Um, I did speak to Cam before. He's confident he can get into a 150. He knows it's going to be a challenge, but he knows he, he does feel that he can get into the 150s during qualifying tonight. I mean, t over 20 minutes left, still plenty of time. Um, you know, thankfully being a short track, once you get the heat in the tyres, you can pretty much keep it with these, you know, in the Clio's on this track. You know, we're into sort of almost double figures for some people on the laps now, so we should hopefully see some even closer battles for lap times coming through. So it may just go quiet for a second. I'm just setting up some other streams. But we'll leave the table up. So we just see Jim there with take pole with a 51-1. So almost into the 50s. Will he be able to crack into it? Uh, Cam 51-6. So still pushed into third. Mega now in second. Nakaman there 51-7. So we've got JD Curley with 52-6. So it's not a, not a massive gap, but it is a small track. So two seconds on this track is quite a big gap. So Gar Omega double dunt there. Obviously his new wheel and pedals paying off. He was really saying he wasn't getting a feel for the game anymore. He was, he just couldn't find a rhythm. He was struggling, but back to the to Mega Double Dunt that we know and FRT Nankelman there, uh, fifty one four moves into second. But Gary takes it. Omega Double Dunt takes it back there, uh, fifty one two. I keep going to call Omega Double Double Dunt by his actual name of Gary. I apologise about that because if you are watching, you're not f uh, familiar or you're not part of the next gen group. Um, I'll try and keep the names to the PSNs that you can see on the screen. We are trying to get the stream it's going live on Facebook as we speak as well. So I'll update that as we go along. 
Gary throwing the car around there. He wants that pole position back. Each driver will know how important it is, especially on this short track. So he doesn't do enough, he's just off the pace there. So we'll just stick with Cam, see if he can improve on his time. That comes out of Clark Curve onto the home straight. Trying to get as much power out of the little clear that he can. Doesn't improve, he stays in fourth. So on board with Lee W. He goes, oh, stays, oh, moves down seventh. Jella Ridges just takes six there. So positions are swapping all over the shop at the moment. JD Curley down to 10th but again not a lot swap them I think EDU's just yeah he's just had a nice little lap there so he's moved up a couple of places I mean I already know now what a challenge it's going to be to catch as much of the action as I can on this live stream but don't forget there will be a highlights show posted as well after the after the stream so uh, we try and catch as much of the action into that as well that you might not see on the live stream. So if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel so you can keep getting your updates for the Ollie Pidgeley Clear Cup hosted by NextGen. So last week we did see the Clear Cups burst into action. Uh, EDU just pulling over there. And past. Uh, so we did see the Clear Cups burst into action. Uh, Ollie Pidgeley. Obviously the man that this, this league is, is running aid of. Uh, quali uh, raced seven, uh, finished 7th in race 1 and finished 8th in race 2. So really strong grid. So really fantastic results for Ollie Pidgeley last week. Uh, Donington is the next course for the BTCC and the Clear Cups which is next weekend. Uh, so you can follow that on ITV4 on Sundays. So all eyes on number 3 on the Clear Cup there for Ollie Pidgeley. Uh, and we all wish him the best of luck for Donington. So back to it. So we still got Jim in first place at the moment. Just almost into that 50s there. Uh, Mega slightly behind on 51-2. And we've got 51-3 for Gonzi. 51-4 for Nakaman and Cam. So Cam's still not able to improve on his lap time. Oh, sideways action there for EDU. Oh, Cam locking the wheels up there. Power sliding. Down Graham Hill. So it looks like he might be able to try, might be trying to get heat. His, yeah, I think what's happened is his tyres might have overheated. Um, so he'll, you know, you'll, you'll find that if you push too much, you get too much heat in the tyres. If you don't push enough, you won't get enough heat. So you've really got to try and balance out, especially on a track like Brands Hatch Indy. You've got to be so careful about pushing too hard for for lap after lap because you will find that you just get you, your tyres will overheat and it'll just become an ice rink for you. So you do need to sort of balance it out. Push for a couple of laps, take it off, then go back and, and push it again. Uh, seeing someone else. Yeah, that was Jim going off as well. So, again, might have just pushed a little bit too hard there, which obviously allowed the people just behind him. So, people like Gonzi might be able to capitalise now. They might have just paced themselves a little bit. I don't know. Gonzi only out on only had five laps as well, so he's he's doing pretty well. Gonzi, to be fair, will he improve? He doesn't improve. You can see the top lot, 14 laps, 16, and we've still got just under 15 minutes to go now. So Scooby's moved up to 5th, Gonzi's in 5th, Cam now down in 6th, that is going to upset 
the young lad a little bit there. He doesn't want that. He wanted pole. He was pretty sure that he could have got pole tonight. He knew it was going to be a challenge, but he was certainly could he could have he could have challenged the top four pole. I mean, we might see him improve on this lap. I don't think we're going to see him move now. So will we see any change at the top? At the moment, that'll give Jim the bonus point. So that'll give him 44 points. Two years just leading the way at the moment. There is a gap between Jim and Cam who's in second. So as I mentioned before, Cam on 31 points at the moment. The way it's sitting at the moment, Jim will have 44. Obviously we've got the the results points to come and add to that. So we are just trying to get our Facebook stream up and running. So apologies if it does go quiet. So here we are watching on Facebook. So we are now live on Facebook as well. Uh, give us a little mention. Uh, let us know where you're watching from. So Jim's still leading the way. First at the moment. So Cam's gone into the pits. Comes out. I presume that would have been a heat problem with the tyres. Uh, once, you know, once you get heat in them. You might as well just pit in doesn't take long to get you you know your heat back on this track so Jim's still out trying to get that 50 smoke from the back tires of Amiga's car there as well so again could be having tire heat problems and this you know this could be how the race goes as well it is clear weather as he based out how it was on Brands Hatch today at one o'clock been a glorious day in the UK today so it's going to be a hot track which you've got to be careful especially because you're running stock setup as well you you pretty much you've got to run what the game gives you and once the tyres start getting heat in them then you you know you're going to struggle it is going to be like driving on ice so we've got Gonzi there still in third so we'll stick with Gonzi. We've got Amiga there, slightly better. Sector 1 than Gonzi. So let's see how he compares. Oh, but Sector 2 down on Gonzi there as well. So will we see a change for Gonzi as he crosses the line? No, sticks in third. I don't think we'll see Amiga move up. We don't. So Knuckleman is in the pits. Scooby's in the pits. Cam's back out. Jelly Ridges. Jeddy Curley's in the pits. Video is on the grass. He must be waving to the crowd. Although there is no crowd there. So big off for Edu there. Glazen is in the pits. We've got Green at Army now back in the pits. So if you are watching on Facebook, comment who you think is going to take 
the win tonight. I called the winner on the Grand National today, so I am going to go out and say... Oh, my head would say Jim, but I'm going to go with Amiga for the win tonight. You know, he's shown decent pace from pretty much the start of qualifying, so I think, you know, I think he'll... He knows how to play it cool. He knows how to put pressure on. So I'm going to go with Amiga as tonight's race winner. But, of course, I could be wrong. So Jeff Perkis on Facebook, he's saying Jim. And Jeff, obviously, people who are watching who don't know, that is actually Scooby G. So I hope he's concentrating on the race and not too much on Facebook at the moment. Um, so messages coming through from the pits as well. Don't forget if you are a driver and you want to message me your thoughts on how your race is going, uh, drop me a message on Facebook. Uh, I'll get it read out onto the stream. Uh, James Davis, his point of view, and I quote, that is damn close. And let's face it, it pretty much is. There's two seconds really splitting first to last place at the moment. We've got a few of the drivers missing this week uh, with technical problems. Uh, so unfortunately, John Dipple saying Scooby G. Uh, so Scooby G has a vote of confidence there as well. Scooby's definitely one of them that can, you know, can pull a win out of the bag. He's just been, you know, he was unlucky with a, a disconnect last week. Oh, Amiga going off into the wall there. Uh, not sure what happened. I think he's maybe had enough. Oh, Gonzi's taken second now. Gonzi showed great. He he was out in front last week at Zolder. But unfortunately, he had a few, few little errors, uh, which cost him. So I think if he can keep his cool, keep his concentration going, you know he's he could easily get a win. But I'm, I am I've said it, I, Amiga. I can't can't change that. But get yourself a drink. So after this, usual as a five-minute warm-up session, just gives anyone a chance to, you know, have a have a quick break before the race starts. Gives the the slower drivers a little bit more track time, a bit of practice. Uh, allows you yourself to get a drink, and then there's half an hour of racing. So we should should see roughly 30, 33 laps, maybe a few more around this circuit and as I said this is the first of two visits to Brands Hatch the final for the Olive Pidge League Clio Cup uh, will be here but using the GP layout uh, someone posted the other week as well uh, rumour of a GP uh, not a GP a 24 hour uh, addition being added to the track i don't know how how true that is i don't know if it was a you know a, a photoshop picture if it was if it was rubbish if it was but be interested obviously root silverstone wanted to to get rid of the the british grand prix i personally think brands hatch would would make a nice track quite a bit of elevation in it so i don't know how that would suit the the formula one cars it's not the widest of tracks either, really. Uh, but I'd, I'd quite happy to, to see another 24-hour size endurance track come to the UK. Brands Hatch is a, is a nice-looking track. Uh, so Alan Baldwin on Facebook can't can't decide whether it's going to be RS Gym or Amiga. Yeah, I'm I'm the same. It's uh, I'm just with just with how how Amiga's been in qualifying that to have gone with but Jim is is one of them if he can stay out in front he's so consistent he very rarely makes mistakes so because Jim's in the ideal position now as well and if he can 
obviously just get through Paddock Hill without any incident, then I think we'll, you know, Jim's going to be a hard one to, not just to catch up to, but to get past as well. He's he's a very good defensive driver when he needs to be, so he'll make it difficult for people to, to get past. So just under five minutes now left in qualifying. So will we see any movers in the table? Any last upsets? We'll stick with Gonzi on the screen behind the table. He's close to, he's close to his time. I don't know if we're gonna see anyone break into the fifties. down on his lap time there sorry about the if it does go quiet I'm just trying to sort out streams I've got people messaging me and stuff like that so so just over two minutes left to go in this qualifying session Oh, two-wheel action there from FRT Gonzi. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I just wish there was a little rewind button that I could press just to, to re-watch that. So he's, he's pushing very hard. He can sense that he can take it he's slightly down on his time there. I think that's Cam just out in front of him. Yes, it is. So just enough time to just to have one more lap after this. If he needs it, he might have saved it all for the end. Oh, lovely little two-wheel action there from Cam. He's pushing that little black and yellow clear as much as he can push it. He wants that pole. Is he going to get it? Is he going to improve? Just comes out of Clark Curve onto the home straight. Moves into fourth. He's got just enough time for one more lap. He's on fire. Is he going to upset Jim? Like last week. We've got Gonzi just behind him as well. Oh, goes off a little bit there. Two wheels again there. I don't know, he went off a bit too much there. Uh, just coming out of Graham Hill. So I think he is not going to improve. He doesn't. So it'll be fourth for Cam. Oh, Gonzi has taken pole right at the end of qualifying. And gets into the 50s as well. Absolutely amazing run from Gonzi there. He he was on fire. He was pushing so hard. Well deserved. So just a five minute warm up session now.
So we've got a couple out on track, just getting a bit more bit more track time in. So apologies about the silence, I will be back with you very quickly. So where is Gonzizi? Well, he's just relaxing in the garage, just enjoying his pole. So Cam will be, it will be upset. He did want that pole position tonight. He, he knows now that the the challenge is extremely difficult. As I mentioned, this is a track that's not easy to, to overtake on. There's not many overtaking opportunities. It can get very bunched up. Paddock Hill is one of those corners that you can get incidents uh, happening. But we'll hope for a, a clean race. Uh, Oldsy late joining there as well, but he has managed to join in time. He'll obviously start from the back of the grid. Uh, hopefully, I won't be in front of him. She'll be at the side of him. Cam is on a mission at the moment. Obviously, these lap times won't count. If you are just joining now, this is just a five minute warm up practice session. So the times that you see it on the screen don't unfortunately count for anything. A lot of drivers will use this just to have a, a little break, uh, get the head in the game. Or, ooh, someone having an off moment there. Uh, that was Green at Army. So his name should be, remember, with that livery. Oh, uh, that was a that was a big moment into the pit wall. That almost uh, a adjacent. We'll call that a Jason Plato. Yeah, he definitely had a Jason Plato into the pit wall. Damage is switched off uh, in this series, though. So if you do have a Jason Plato, you won't you won't. The car won't struggle. So just over a minute left. And then it's half an hour of Clio Cup action. So it's round three of the Ollie Pidgeley Clio Cup. And if you are just joining us, it's from Brands Hatch Indy. And I'm your commentator, Phil. And I will try and get as much of the action for you as possible. If you're watching on Facebook, if you've seen it shared, let us know in the comments whereabouts you're watching in the world. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. This is round three of 12. And it's every Saturday at half past eight. So you get just over an hour of pure Clio Cup action. So if you did miss qualifying, FRT Gonzi managed to steal pole position from RS Gym 77 right at the end of the qualifying session. So RS Gym would have probably kicked his kicked his shins a little bit. He wouldn't have been happy about that.
But Gonzi, in fairness to him, he you know he did well last week, and he was you know he's showing it. Oh, is that Olsey disconnected again? Oh no. So we'll try and get as much of the action as possible. I do need to wait for the lights to go green. Yes, retire, spectate. So up at the top. So Cam's moved into second. So Gonzi down to. Where is Gonzi? Gonzi's down in 12th. What's happened there? He's had a shocker of a start there. Oh, I don't know what's happened, but he will be upset about that. He goes through Graham Hill. On board JD Curley. There goes Gonzi. Past him. Oh, tyre smoke back there. Oh, someone having a bit of a mare. Oh, that's Amiga. So he's had a bit of a bad first lap. So he's moved up the field. So Jim has managed to get first. Cam's managed to get into second though as well. But we've got Neckerman who's definitely going to take the place here. As he goes through Druids on the inside. Cam's got the outside. Forces him wide. Brilliant move by Nackleman there. And we've got Scooby, who's just on the tail of Cam now as well. And Edu running well down in fifth there. All the cars coming through. Scooby two wheels there as Cam and Nackleman battling here. Jim is pulling away. This is what RS Jim does though. He gets out into the front. And because he's so consistent, you'll see the gap build. So on board with Cam as they come to Paddock. Using as much of the track as they're allowed to. Oh, Cam close to him. And Scooby there as well. And now we've got a battle with Edu and FRT Jello Ridges. Oh, he do get inside FRT getting sideways as well. I think that was Scooby just in the opening of the shot as well. That was getting sideways. Drivers pushing these little cars as much as they can. Well, they do need to be careful. And I think we're going to see FRT. Has he got enough in it? Side by side. Approaching Paddock, he has got fifth. Can he hold it? Goes down Paddock Hill Bend. Oh, I think we, are we going to see Edu try? And Edu and Gonzi getting side by side there as well. Gonzi tried to make a move, but unfortunately, Edu said, Not today, son. You're going to need to do better than that. On board here with Gonzi. You know, he's pushing hard. He did so well in qualifying. Had a nightmare of a start. Oh, he's, he can counter it though here. He can, no. He do saying, no son, you're going to need to try hard. He's making it really difficult for Gonzi to get past. Gonzi is definitely the quicker person. He's going to try it on Paddock Hill. He's going to switch now. Oh, nearly loses it though, but keeps it going. This is awesome driving from Gonzi. We've got tyre smoke. Can it? Has he got it? Has he got it? Oh, he just doesn't have enough drive to get past him. This is what I'm saying. It's this this circuit layout. It's just so difficult. Oh, he's definitely got him here though. Has he? Yes, he's going to get past him here. Awesome driving by Gonzi. No. The awesome little defensive from Edu there, but Gonzi, oh, cars connect side by side. They have to slow down or they will just magnetise together. So Gonzi has the inside coming down to Paddock Hill now. Oh, cars side by side again. Nudge Edu off into the dirt. 
He's still got the place. Gonzi's now got the place. Inside on Druids, and he's finally got past. But it, this isn't over. Edu's now fighting back. I think we're going to see Gonzi slightly get away. That was an awesome, awesome little battle going on there. Proper Cleo Cup style battling. Two wheels there from Gonzi. So Jim up in first, Nakam in second. Scooby moved up to third. Cam's in fourth. Jello Ridge is fifth. Gonzi sixth. Edu seventh. Lee W eight. Glazer ninth. JD Curley tenth. Oldie eleventh. Amida down in twelfth. Struggled again this week. He, he's you know he's had a really good qualifying, but unfortunately when it, when it's come to the race he just can't seem to get a flow going. Real shame, real shame for the Scot that. But here we see towards the back of the pack, it's all bunched up. So Glazer just has Lee W in front of him, JD Curley just behind him. Lee W going off on the grass there. It's going to allow Glazer just to catch up to him a little bit here. Ooh, is that going to be a penalty? No, it's not. JD Curley, can he make a move here? It's definitely allowed him to close the gap a little bit onto Glazen. Oh, I think we might have had a tyre. Uh, I think it looks like he's had a, a wheel glitch there where his car has just suddenly gone into neutral. It does happen on the game. He is going to be so, so angry with that. Let's hope it doesn't happen to many of the other drivers. We've got real battle going on now for f second. Cam can just see it happening as well. So we'll stick with these guys for a while. Use as much of the track as possible there. So we've got Neckelman hugging the inside line. Scooby looks like he might be going to have a go there. But he's got now Cam on his side, but Cam can't, can he hold this line? Scooby flies back in front. Oh, back end just coming out on Scooby there as well, but he holds it. And Neckelman having to do his best to defend here. So he hasn't just got Scooby to worry about. He's got Cam. Is he going to try and do it? Paddock? He's got the inside line now to Druids. He's going to go through. Side by side with Scooby, but Scooby's now got the inside. Takes the place back. Can Cam get past him again? It's just swapping position after position. It's so hard to to get past on this circuit. You have the, the inside line on one corner, then the next. You haven't. So... Now come and have a little bit of breathing space. RS Jim. Just taking his time. Just relaxed. Concentrating. Neckleman. A little bit of a gap. Forming between some of the drivers now. Oh, Glazing having a moment there at Paddock Hill. Oh, I think he's got a penalty. He's got a slow down penalty. Uh, Lee W going into the back of him then, unfortunately. Uh, has allowed Amiga to catch up in 10th, though. And we've got Oldie on 11th. JD Curley managed to get into 12th, but he'll be, he'll be up save. He'll probably feel that he should have been in with this pack here. It is annoying when, when you do get game glitches. 
But, you know, things can happen in real life, engineering, engine problems and stuff, so it is it is one of them. You've just got to, unfortunately, swallow it. It is a hard pill to swallow, though. But we've got Amiga applying some real pressure here to Lee, W07. Comes up to Druids. Two wheels there. Oh, nearly lose it, but managed to keep it. Does a lot. Give Lee W a little bit of breathing space there. So we've still got a battle for second going on. This is far from over, and it's just under 20 minutes left to go in this race. Cam gets an awesome drive out of Paddock Hill there. Look how much he's just closed up to Scooby then. This Cam wants wants this. He knows how important the points are. Again, Scooby's managed to just pull away. An FRT, it does look like he might be closing the gap there as well. And Gonzi. Not too far behind. We could have a five-way battle for second place towards the end of the race. Oh, Neckerman getting sort of sideways there. Down Paddock Hill. Scooby having to break hard manoeuvre just so to avoid contact. Allows Cam to catch up a little bit. Scooby two wheels there through Graham Hill. So we're on board with Cam now. Oh, that's the back off there. There is no way past. Can Scooby do it? No, Nackleman closes the door. Great defensive driving from a lot of the drivers tonight on show. I think Scooby trying to trick Neckleman then. Take him off his line. He's not falling for that. So Scooby really driving a defensive game and trying to attack at the same time. I'm attacking as hard as he can. Oh, cars just getting a little bit wobbly there. Curbs just making them a little bit unstable. Do need to be careful. So here's your standings at the moment. Scooby having to think about it again. Oh, Cam with an awesome attack going on at the moment. Can he do it? Can he get past? He's got the inside line going down into Graham Hill. Side by side. He's got the place at the moment. Scooby has to concede. Two wheels there from Cam. He's throwing this clue. He's giving it all he's got. Neckerman going wide. And take a breath. And Jellared is now back you're back with this battle. Gonzi dropped off a little bit there. He might have had a penalty. So this is now a four-way battle for second place. This is what Cleo Cup racing is all about. So we'll stick on board with Jellared just for the time being. So you see Jim up ahead, just pulling away. Oh dear, mate. Oh, he's lost it, he's lost it. Gonzi will say thank you very much for that. 
So can Gonzi catch up and make this a four-way battle again? But at the moment, it's exceptional driving. Knuckleman doing enough to keep them at bay. So Cam doing really well going into Druids there as well. So that's a, a corner he's well familiar with. Oh, there's traffic up ahead now. It looks like Greener Army. I'm sure he won't cause any problems for them. So Nakaman getting wide on that corner. Might have tyre heat issues now. Well, just get that little less grippy. Cam might do this. He might do this. We've got Greener Army going off into the dirt there. He's got the inside here. I think we'll see Cam take second. Can he hold it? Oh, and Scooby goes through as well. So thank you very much. I'll have that. So Nakaman loses two places in that move from Cam. Oh, Gonzi locking up there as well. Sliding off. So Jim out in front. So it's still a freeway battle for second place. Can't call it at the moment. So we'll just have a look at the table at the moment. See where the drivers stand. We'll keep the action behind on these three as well. So we're on board now with Scooby. As he tries to chase down Cam. Nechman going a little bit wide there as well. Do need to be careful. If you go too wide, you will receive a penalty. So can Cam withstand the pressure of Scooby breathing down his neck? Little car getting a little bit shaky under heavy braking there. Oh, Scooby, a little bit of nudge there from Scooby just to say, I'm here. Is he going to take the place? He's not. Knuckleman watching all this unfold. Both cars lock it up. Ooh, that could have been close. Cam has to concede the place, but he does have the inside line here. Cars touch each other. Oh, Cam's locked up. Is Gonzi going to be able to pounce on this? Cam will be shaking his head. Oh, he'll be gutted about that. Did so well, but it could be tyre heat issues again if you push too much for too many laps. It's just like driving on ice. So we can take a breath now. Let's just have a look at the table. See if there's any significant changes anywhere throughout. So we've got Lee W07 and Glazen not too far off each other. So Amiga there. And we've got JD Curley and Oldie. So the battle for second still isn't over. Scooby throwing the car around there. Neckleman. Oh. Not really the best of corners for him. Couldn't really 
take advantage of the tires slipping. So just spreading out just a little bit now, but it won't take long. So there's not much in it. Gonzi is slightly catching up to Cam. Cam not far off these two now as well. And we've got Jim who's just driving around having a great little time. Doesn't make many mistakes in the race. Gonzi's right up to Cam now, though. We definitely know Gonzi's got the pace from his, his qualifying lap. But can he put that down and gain a few positions? See there, the car's definitely not as much grip as when they started due to the heat issues in the tyres. Yeah, it'll be a hot track out there. Back tyres on these cars, you'll either get them too cold or too hot. Oh, messing up a little bit there. Gives Cam a little bit of breathing space. But Cam... Letting know Neckleman that he's still there and he's still a threat. And Scooby still can't relax. He's got a little bit of breathing space now. Maybe just ease off. His tyres have got a bit too much heat in. There you can see a bit more control into the corners. So he's allowing him. But Gonzi now back up to Cam. Gonzi likes this section of the track. He's fast in it. Can he make the move? Can he find a way past? It's the approach paddock. Cam doing all his best defensive lines. Oh, Gonzi right up to the bumper there. Oh, I thought he would have had him then. But unfortunately, just didn't have just enough on him to make the pass stick. So we start all over again. So Gonzi will have watched, seen what he is, try and trick Cam. So Cam knows he's there. Can he apply enough pressure to maybe force Cam into a mistake? Force Cam just to push a bit too hard. Can Gonzi find a way past? Oh, but we've seen... Oh, no, Cam. Yeah, sorry. Scooby was in second anyway. A little mime up there. And there's Cam going off onto the grass. And Gonzi... As, was it enough to get past? These boys find it out. This is proper Cleo Cup racing. And it goes fifth, fourth... He's got the inside for Paddock as well. So Cam can't do anything but concede the place. Tries to do the switch. Was there a bit of contact there? Ooh, don't know. Was the contact? I'm not sure. I don't know. The, the view wasn't good enough to see. 
cab normally though the rules are if you do force someone off due to contact slow to let them pass the cab would normally follow those rules something definitely to talk about and watch at the end the highlight show so try and get as much discussion done on that as possible Gonzi thinking about making the move here no Cal, a little bit of breathing space Neckleman not sure there's just under five minutes to go so we're looking at really five laps five laps now really at most don't think it's over between these two both of them <laughs> throwing the cars over the curbs there two wheels so what a race this has been Davidy looks like it's going to Jim so he'll take the 21 points so points are as follows so it's 21 points for first 18 for second 15 for third 13 for fourth and then reduces one point for every position below so on board with Gonzi here does well to avoid any major incident there Gonzi so there's now just uh, just about three minutes left of the race now and it's definitely too close to call it looks like Neckerman is struggling but Cam maybe struggling there as well. Neckerman definitely struggling with tyres. Could see Gonzi gain two places here. Cam can't do anything, but again, let him go. Oh, there's a little bit of a touch there from Cam. Definitely can't take that place from that. Oh, touching again. Oh, a little bit of risky driving there from Cam. He's a little bit of aggression. We definitely want to see that. We do want to see clean. We want to see close racing, but we want to see clean racing. Oh, what is Cam doing? Getting very pushy out there at the moment. Flash his lights. I think he goes, thinks he said sorry. Uh, Realises that, yeah, he needs to calm down a little bit. But, of course, with that, that's allowed Neckleman just to run away a little bit as well into second Gonzi don't know could he have had the place maybe some of the things now oh Cam is pushing very very hard now he might want to think about just chilling out maybe taking the place I don't think he's got enough now to get into third where you really see the, the point jump so it's just one point difference if he does manage to get into fourth. Oh, Gonzi looks like he had a little bit of a lock up there. So Cam may be able to get past. Definitely a love loss between these two after the race though. Oh, both of them getting sideways there through Graham Hill Bend. Now the Cooper straight. Oh, to McLaren and then clear ways through Clark Curve Gonzi shutting the door on Cam so it's just 30 seconds left so this is the final lap now
Can he do it? Can he get past? Looks like both are struggling with tyres. Bit more control around that corner then. Both very fast in that sec in this section of the track. Looks like Cam is trying to line up a move. Goes to the outside and then he'll switch to the inside. Is he going to do it? He's going to get fourth. I think it, yeah, it's Gonzi. It's going to go to. What an exceptional race. So we'll get the official table coming up in just a little bit. That was a lot going on throughout that race. <coughs> Excuse me. But RS Jim with the win. As always, didn't put foot wrong. Got out to first and just with his consistency just kept it going. Doesn't make any mistakes. And just allows himself to pull away from the pack. Well done to Scooby for getting second. Involved in that awesome free and looked like it was going to be a four or maybe a five way battle for second place but he managed to keep up with the guys so I'm just going to save the replay so that is round two round three sorry of the Ollie Pidgeley Clio Cup done and dusted we are back next week from half past eight. If you did enjoy it, obviously spread the word. If you watch it on YouTube, subscribe. And then we will speak to you. I'll be back next week for round four of the Ollie Pidgeley Cleo Cup. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you soon.